Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to try my best to answer your questions regarding Wonder Dynamics's Wonder Studio. Now, I've spent a couple of days in here really just trying to play around with it a little bit more. And I've been getting a lot of questions about it. And, and last night, I said, if you have any questions, go to this YouTube channel right here and go to this video and leave your comment here. And I'll try to answer it best as I can. All right, so here we go. 15 hours ago, are you able to bring in your own customized FBX? If that's the case, it's a wrap. Yes, you can. So I'm going to go to Wonder Dynamics right here. If I go to my assets right here, click on Selected Files, it's going to let you upload your model and texture. But that being said, character creation guidelines will tell you how you need to prep your characters to be imported into Wonder Studio. So you have a Blender instructions, you have my instructions. You can also create facial blend shapes for your characters because you all know this actually captures facial animation as well, not just body. All right, so yes, you can import your own character. Now I am currently looking for someone to help me with specifications as far as rigging characters to the correct spec. And I'll talk about the skeleton system here a little bit more. But yes, you can import your own FPX, which is insane. All right, so we got Piggy Piggy Wah Wah over here. This is the bee's knees. I'm um, hoping you're gonna be first export rig animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I already answered that one. Crazy stuff. Uh, how do you access the beta? Uh, you just go to their homepage and request access right here. You're going to fill out a form. Check your spam email. A lot of people are getting their acceptance in the spam email. So keep checking that. All right, here we go. Excited. Uh, already do it. Montilla, Canada, uh, Yep. Boom, boom. Wasn't really a, wasn't really a question. Just make sure I mark it so I know I read it. Uh, do you have to supply a rig model? Yes. As far as I know, you need to have your characters rigged if you want to use your mocap system. Because I don't think it's going to rig it for you. It would be a good addition later on that they would create some kind of auto-rigger. Kind of like auto-rig pro or something like that. Or accurate like Relusions. That would be a smart move where you can just import a mesh and it will auto-rig it to their specifications, man. That would be amazing. Um, still skeptical. We'd like to see him use it with his own footage and his own model. Now, now with that one, I do have character models. But like I said, I need somebody to help me rig. I'm not a rigger. You're still going to need somebody to rig the character for you in the same spec as Wonder Studio, which actually is similar to Maya H.I.K. How do you get in? I already answered that question. Now we have to do it manually, all the work, tracker errors. Yep, absolutely. This is why it's insane. If you're familiar with how to do this traditionally, you'll know how amazing this tool is. All right. Obviously, if you work at Pixar, whatever animation studios, you're probably like, I've had this forever. Well, good for you, but not for us. Okay. So Pink Pocket said, so people make mistakes. Yeah, I don't. No, they don't, man. Really want to see people use their own high poly models. So, so one of the characters that actually downloaded in Blender is actually a high poly model and let me show you that real quick so this model right here one of the preset ones they have is like two something see if i can turn on the statistics right here it's 2.5 million triangles that's for a character that's high poly -ish, man so yes you can import your own high quality poly model in there uh can you show what the blender file looks like yeah it's right here actually this is one of them um, it is playing back super slow, and I think it's mainly because it's just a, it's just an intense scene right now. But this is the Blender file, and as far as I know, the camera tracking will also be available for you to download later. So for now, it's it's just a static camera in front of it, but eventually you are going to be able to get the camera tracking from your shot as well, which is bananas. All right, so I'm gonna I want to lift existing video from the '90s, but maintain the body movements and facial expressions, and transfer them to a meta human. So this is kind of tricky because Epic has that that ban where you can't really render anything. You can't render meta humans outside Unreal Engine. So this is this is gonna be a limitation on the meta human portion of it. Like we can't render it in Blender. We can't render it. In Maya, we can only render metahumans in Unreal. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. However, with that being said, if you export the body animation from Wonder Studio and then 
retarget that in Unreal Engine, and then animate the MetaHuman with a phone using your MetaHuman animator, then yes, you can potentially use this with a MetaHuman. Green screen suit person would be super interesting example. The king would be perfect, but can 3D mocap accurately detect limbs and joints? So are you talking about like somebody wearing a green screen? That is, that is, a, that is actually a good one. Now, now, I've seen some behind the scenes on this. Whenever they do with this in Hollywood, they don't actually make them wear green screen. They make them wear almost like a color checker outfit. Like a checkerboard with different patches of color, I guess, for them to stand out a little bit more. I, I just don't know why you would want a full green screen person, but I'm interested as well. I don't have a green screen suit, but I'll, I'll find something and we'll test that out. Stay tuned for that one, dude. Good question. 13 years ago, I remember my roommate finding a crack version of Buju for me. Yeah, your roommate. Wink. Buju was really good for its time. It's just sad. It's sad. Like it just died. Imagine if Buju went like the Da Vinci Resolve route in 2013, where it went free. Can you imagine that? Um, I'd be interested to take a look at the exported Blender scene. Maybe the, yeah. Okay, so I already showed that. This is insane. Absolutely. This technology is still premature. Yeah, agreed. And, and like I said, this is not new. Like Hollywood's been doing this. ILM's probably had this for a long time. You see this in a lot of behind the scenes, but it's just now we have it. You and me in here, sitting here, I have the same tools as ILM, like same with Photoshop. Some agencies have had Photoshop forever, but we just got access to it. And that was groundbreaking. This is the same thing. It's nothing new, but it's just more accessible for us. So this is awesome. I'm on the waiting list. Good luck, man. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's going to get better for sure. <laughs> Don't feed the trolls. Yeah, it's just frustrating when... You see something amazing and just because people have seen it before, they're like, ah, it's not a big deal. Like, bro, it is a big deal. Um, this video blew me away. Yeah, man. And you're welcome. I try to. I try to keep up. It is getting pretty darn hard, man. It's getting pretty darn hard. 84 minutes for 10 seconds is atrocious. Yeah, dude, try doing this manually. If time is money, I would take that 84 minutes, go outside, touch the grass a little bit, take the kids to the park, play with them a little bit, and then come back. 84 minutes is, I don't have to do anything for 84 minutes. I can just wait and they'll do it for me. That is a no brainer, bro. Yeah, so Cinnabon right here, it's got the right idea. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of make this bigger so I guess you can see better. So you're not like squinting. Yeah, and I say having done it for over a decade, I'm not mad or scared in the slightest. All the hours, days, and months spent on that can be better spent learning lens choices, core theory, blocking, yeah, same thing. Like, instead of me doing it for 84 minutes, I'll go out, take the kids out, spend some time with them, you know, push them to swing, stuff like that. That's, man, life's too short, you know? Let's do some stuff. Groundbreaking. There's nothing Michael Jordan can do. Absolutely, man. He's a freaking goat. Uh, let's see. I'm like finished. Yeah, right here. Hey, there's Alex. Uh, can you upload retarget target custom characters? You can, but... It, so, yeah, with that one, I already kind of explained. You upload the character, but it has to match pretty much the same exact bone structures. I mean, somebody's gonna correct me if I'm wrong. Obviously, they're probably watching this video. Um, but from my understanding is yes, you will have to upload it in a spec. Skeleton, name convention, T-Post, all that jazz for it to work with their system. Um, would be great to see this used on a clean background green screen. Yeah, um, markers, I don't know how that's gonna react, but if you have a static shot, it's a no-brainer. Have a green screen and shoot a background plate later. And that's going to help the AI. It, because even with that, even if I were to go outside and have a pop-up green screen, kind of like what I have right here in front of it, take it out, shoot, shoot like a background plate, and then use that because I have a clean plate. If it's just static, that's amazing. Now with markers, I don't know how it's going to deal with markers. I'm not sure. Here's what I'm excited about. Whenever camera manufacturers are done with their resolution wars and they start to innovate again, one of them will put a 3D tracker built in their cameras. Because close your eyes for a second. If you have now a DSLR that can 3D track space and you have Wonder Studio, okay, 
and you combine that too. You have a green screen out there with a talent walking around, a moving camera, but the camera tracking is being tracked by the camera and you sync them in post. But unfortunately, camera manufacturers right now are still fighting for resolution, dynamic range. So we're going to have to wait. But don't get me wrong. There are, there are camera trackers out there, but they're external. They're like, you have to put stuff on the wall, the ceiling, stuff like that. If iPhones can 3D track, I'm pretty sure it's going to come to cameras. But again, the camera manufacturers need to really you know, start innovating again. If anything, conceptually shows where things should be heading. I'm curious if in that 84 minute processing times, there was a team of 200 people in some Arctic bunker doing the roto. Yeah, yeah, bro. When you click finish, it sends it to like freelancing websites. and They like work on your, no, I don't think that. That, that would be crazy, bro. What's the cost? Ooh, this, this is the number one question that people are wondering about right now. All right, so obviously, this is the very first of its kind as far as us consumer. All right, Move AI just released their pricing, and that's AI mocap. Wonder Studio also has AI mocap. That's one part of the system. Move AI charges a dollar a day, $365 per year, and they also release a monthly plan as far as I know. Move AI, that is. The more I use this tool, and I would love to be proved wrong, this is going to be a lot more than $365 a year just because of all of the things you can do. But what I want to know, and, and they haven't asked me what, a, what I think about cost yet, right? Usually companies that I beta test for, they ask me about the cost and I give them my two cents because that's all I got. And, and I tell them why, you know, and the first thing that I always tell them is who are you selling to, right? Because what if you have a plan for Wonder Studio that lets you customize it so that you can add and remove features that you don't necessarily need to make it cheaper, right? If I go to Wonder Dynamics, go to home, and I go to my one live action here, I'm going to be, I'm going to be making another video about this, all right? Because like I said, I've been trying to break this thing. Think about it for a second. Say, you know what? I only want AI mocap. And you'll have pricing for that. Um, I actually want AI mocap, clean play, and alpha mask. And have pricing for that. That would be an insane pricing versus all or nothing. Right? Because each and every single one of these are useful on their own. Okay? So... AI mocap, that's move AI, they're already doing that. It's just not going to be the same price. Again, I can be, I want to be proved wrong, but I don't think it's going to be $365 a year. I mean, it, it, it's, just, it's just not going to be, I don't know. I'm not naive, man. People got to eat. And with this stuff that you are getting, I'm afraid it's not going to be that cheap, man. I'm sorry. All right, so... This is mad. I did a similar project in college 11 years ago. Took ages to learn motion tracking. Absolutely. freaking lootly. You know, back when I was a kid, when I was watching Buju videos, what Buju videos? We didn't get freaking YouTubers explain what Buju was, man. None of that. You go to forums, Google stuff, annoy people in forums. You know, that's, again, this is huge. I must say, I really thought it was a scam. Yeah, like, I, I, like the video I made three weeks ago. I was skeptical, but but I looked at advisor board and they had Spielberg on that and the Russo brothers, and I'm like, it's got to be legit. And sure enough, I play with a lot of AI tools, a lot, a lot, as you all know. This is something that I still can't believe. Every time I go in here, it's like, what am I real at this point? Um, the cost, I already talked about the cost. New era is here, absolutely. If you can incorporate metahumans, again, MetaHumans got that ban, can't take it out. You can take it out, but you have to take it back in. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Um, render time limit right now in a closed beta. I don't know if there is one. I haven't hit it yet. Uh, yeah, definitely. We're so so spoiled. And and the cool thing about this is, and, and you know, I was getting stuff about the production readiness. If you just use the drag and drop, it's not gonna be production ready for some, sure. But if you download the layers and work on them as starting point, 
they could potentially be production ready. So it's very cool because you're getting both worlds. You can just play around with it. And it's like, hey, yeah, have some fun. Hey, kids, shoot robot movie, alien movie. Or you can be like an indie filmmaker and no blender in compositing and kill it that way too. So you have best of both worlds there. And it is just first gen. We all saw what Mid Journey V1 looked like and what it looks like now at V5. This, this is just the beginning, man. That's all the questions that I have here. If you have any more, just ask in this video here and I'll try to answer myself. Again, this is from my experience. I could be right, I could be wrong. Um, but if you have any other questions, if you want me to do another test, more tests on this, let me know and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.